you have asthma, you will be pleased to know that you have a bill of rights. You have the right to zero symptoms, zero nighttime awakenings, zero trips to the hospital, and on and on and on. This is Asthma Awareness Month, May. And so we've got the president and CEO of the Asthma Society of Canada, Christine Hampson, here. Thank you so much. To actually think that you won't have your asthma, essentially you wouldn't be suffering from your asthma anymore, right? Absolutely. If you, if you, if you accomplished all of these it. things. Absolutely. Do you still have asthma? It's just under control? Is that the idea? Yeah, I mean, our vision at the Asthma Society of Canada is to empower Canadians, that's adults and children with asthma, to take the steps they need to, to get their asthma under control and manage their asthma. So yes, you, you still have it. It's an underlying condition, but with proper management, when a proper management plan, you can reduce and in some cases eliminate most of your symptoms. It's incredible. I know someone with asthma and she is constantly, uh, she would phone me and say, I can't make it in today uh, because I've, I've been in the hospital all night with my asthma. And uh, that would happen a lot. And you know, as a consequence, she was always like this, hunched over because she was constantly, it, felt, it seemed like she was always uh, searching for her next breath. To think that she wouldn't have to do that anymore is it's so exciting. Do people, do their eyes just light up when you explain this, that they can be symptom free? They do. I mean, we have a National Asthma Patient Alliance, which any of your viewers can join by going to our website at asthma.ca. And, and uh, it provides personal stories of people who've taken control of their asthma and are doing amazing things. There are Olympic athletes with asthma. There are NHL hockey players, probably in these very Stanley Cup finals with asthma, who are taking the steps they need to, working out a plan with their doctor to day to day, take the medication they need to take, know what their triggers are, and reduce their triggers um, and, and managing their asthma so that they don't present in the hospital and they don't have to have limits on the things that they can do. And our, our, our message is that you don't need to let asthma take control of you, that you need to take control of your asthma. And yet, apparently asthma is one of the most common causes of emergency room visits for school-aged children, leading cause of school and work absenteeism. Absolutely. So people aren't getting the message, but that's why you've got this new program out called Act Now. That's right. We have counsel we have telephone and email counseling services with certified asthma or respiratory educators who are people that can take the information you get from your physician or at the ER when you're there and explain it to you and help you make meaning of it for yourself. And we only were advertising that in the past as uh, help for asthma. We decided because we had so many requests from people across the country, and because the experts, the research experts and physicians are telling us that allergy is such an important part of managing asthma that the symptoms um, and the triggers that come from allergy are so important that we should add allergy directly into that service. So ACT Now is Allergies Count Too, and we want people to call us and to email us um, and or hit our website and get that information as well. It's asthma.ca. and book a time to talk to a certified asthma and respiratory educator. You can also, we just did a program um, for World Asthma Day, which was on May the 3rd, with Walmart Canada. And Walmart has a pharmacy program in many of their stores, and they provided, free of charge, appointments for people to come in, talk with a pharmacist about their asthma management, and they provided them with Asthma Society of Canada resources, so it was great for us to be, to be there. Your pharmacist is a really important part of your um, family's health care plan, but for your asthma as well. And pharmacists are available in every community, uh, tons of them around the Toronto area where your folks are watching from. And uh, they should be there too. So the Asthma Society can help, pharmacists can help. Your doctor obviously is the place where you want to go to get a plan that's going to work for you. So allergies right now, big allergy season, you're saying that can trigger asthma attacks and make it worse? Absolutely. Asthma is sort of an underlying inflammation of the airway, which people with asthma have all the time. They take medication daily to minimize the inflammation so that if they come in contact with a trigger, their be uh, body's better able to deal with that and they don't end up like your friend that you were talking about in the emergency or unable to work or go to school. Allergies, whether they're in your home, so indoor air quality, things like dust mites and, and pets and things like that, or outdoor um, triggers such as tobacco smoke, um, the environment and your group that was on before talking about kids getting involved in their environment, that's critically important. And pollen and, and things like that can cause triggers which then 
uh, challenge your body's ability to keep those airways clean and be able to breathe. So what's actually happen happening during an asthma attack? That inflammation just gets worse? The, inflama the, the, the muscles and the airways tighten up and the inflammation gets worse and it blocks your airway and, and your ability to take um, oxygen into your lungs and you can stop breathing and I mean this, I know this is an upbeat show and we want to keep it upbeat and asthma because it can be managed is, is a disease that is for most people upbeat but 250 to 300 people in Canada a year die from an asthma attack that doesn't get treated in time and they don't make it to the hospital and that's unnecessary and our job again is to empower people with the right information and tools so that that doesn't happen to them or someone that they're caring for. Is stress one of those triggers? Absolutely. Stress can be a trigger. Uh, laughing can be a trigger for people. No uh, cold air can be a trigger. Everybody's asthma is different. And that's why it's so important that you speak to somebody who can help you work out an asthma action plan that works for you because your asthma is unique to you. But stress has been shown um, in many instances to be a trigger for asthma in certain people. And is it something you can develop later in life or are you born with it? Yes, there's, there's some misinformation around um, asthma. Many people are born with it and it develops when they're younger, but there are adults who develop asthma. And again, experts don't know what causes asthma. We know it's a combination of genetic factors and environmental factors. We don't know exactly what combination. So uh, similar to people saying that you have asthma, oh, I had asthma when I was a child, but I don't have it anymore. You may not have symptoms anymore, but chances are there's something underlying that's there. And if you don't pay attention to it, later in life you can come into contact with new triggers for you. You move to a new city, you take a new job, something happens in your life, and all of a sudden you find yourself in distress because you weren't taking care of the underlying uh, inflammation and, and that, that gets you there. So our ACT NOW program, key for us, and we really want to hear from people, not just people who have asthma, but people who are caring for people with asthma. So if you're a teacher and you have kids in your class or a parent with kids or a grandparent, find out about it so you can share that information with the person that you're caring about with asthma and help them strive for zero symptoms and, Brilliant. and for an active and symptom-free life. Remember, you have a bill of rights. You can be symptom-free. For more information, asthma.ca. Thank you so much. Thanks, pal. Coming up, some terrific gardening tips. It is gardening weather, unless you're allergic to flowers. Ha, ha, ha.